It may look like I'm filming this in a parking lot that is foggy and mysterious and eerie, but no, I'm actually filming this in a normal parking lot. The fog was added in post, and before, uh, this would have been an effect very hard to make, so let me show you how I'm doing it in DaVinci. So, first of all, make sure you're using DaVinci 18. This is the new uh, studio version, the beta. It has depth maps, which I've talked about in a previous video. We're gonna need those. So, here's our footage. Uh, it's me in a parking lot, and I want to add fog to it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this uh, layer, which we actually don't need a sound for. I'm gonna take this layer and I'm going to duplicate it on our second track. And for the uh, second track version, go to effects, go to open effects, and then type in depth and then add in a depth map. What this is gonna do is it's gonna calculate a depth map of our footage. Uh, some settings that are kind of important. Uh, make sure this is set to better. Uh, faster will let us preview this a lot faster, but you can see there's flickering. Um, it's not what we want. Make sure this is set to better. And more, more importantly, to make sure that this is kind of overlaying on top of our thing, we need to first of all invert this. So as we go further into the distance, it gets brighter or closer to white, more fog. And in the video blend mode, we are gonna set the composite type to screen. And <clears throat> wow, I just ate some corn and it's messing with me. Uh, you can see, now it looks like we have a fog overcasting on our footage. Uh, if we wanna preview this, not the good version, but the bad version fast, uh, we can use faster and you can see it's looking pretty good minus the flickering, but we can have a lot more control over this. So go to adjust map levels, which will let us first of all play with the gamma. So the higher the gamma is kind of the closer the fog and the denser it is so we can't see through it. And conversely, we have a very thin fog. Uh, I'm gonna use the near limit to kind of have the ground over here um, visible. And then we can use the, it's kind of like uh, color ramping where we clip the black and white. So I'm basically dictating how thick and how far into the fog can we see. So I'm using the far and the near limit. Again, use faster just to preview what it would look like with, and imagine it without flickering. And if you like the look of that, set it to better. Now, the only reason this works is because DaVinci has those depth maps that work for video, and they are so good. I mean, this looks like a real fog that could be in here. You could add more effects to this, whatever, but that is how we add fog in DaVinci and not Blender. We'll, we'll do more Blender tutorials.